Okay, let's talk about default values. Uh, here's the solution we just had that used a wrapper function, uh, which was one way to solve the problem. Another way would be to do default values. If you recall, what we really wanted here was to have sum so far actually be a parameter at the top level and for this to be range sum. Uh, this is what we wanted and to provide zero here. Okay, when we do that, sure enough, it works. We weren't allowed to do that because you are not allowed to modify which parameters a function takes. You can't just add sum so far that way. Range sum goes from low to high. So what we could do though is to say, well, sum so far uh, is a default parameter that will start at zero. And what this means is if you do not provide the parameter, then it will be zero. But if you do provide the parameter, then it'll be whatever you provided. That's called the default parameter. And it's actually a really elegant solution to this um, because you can add default parameters. It still allows the caller to call it in the normal way. But sure enough, when we recurse, um, we can replace it with the value we wanted. And it allows us to add this running tally, this sum so far, uh, which works without modifying the outer function call. And that's how you use uh, default values as an alternative uh, to a wrapper function in certain cases. Uh, we might recommend that you actually use wrapper functions in most cases, but this is a useful technique that you will see people use and you should be familiar with why and how it works.